to the channel. Uh, we're heading back to Trinidad uh, today in this episode. Uh, Trinidad recorded two earthquakes uh, in a 24-hour period. Actually, on Friday night and on Saturday morning early, I was going to show you those where those epicenters were. Um, here we have just off Trinidad. That's the first one on Friday night. And then on Saturday morning, this is where the epicenter of the other one was located. You're going to have to let me know if you felt uh, those earthquakes that rattled Trinidad within 24 hours. You can leave your comments in the section below there and let me know what's happening. We spoke about this issue about a week ago. But being prepared for earthquakes, there's not much you can do unless your homes are built in a manner to withstand the shifting of the earth because there is no warning when it comes to earthquakes. The UWI recorded the information last evening and shared them that said that two earthquakes struck near Trinidad and Tobago within 24 hours. And according to the UWI Seismic Research Center, the SRC, the quakes which occurred on Friday night and Saturday morning were felt in several areas across the country. So like I said, you're going to have to let me know which area you live in. And if you felt uh, the quake, the first tremor recorded at 7.39 p.m. on Friday had a magnitude of 4.6 and occurred at a depth of 55 kilometers. And remember I told you in the previous video that based on the size or the magnitude of these earthquakes, the whole country will not feel them certain specific locations you will feel uh, these earthquakes all right and less than 12 hours later at 7 17 a.m and that was on saturday morning this morning a second earthquake with a magnitude of 4.1 was detected and this event occurred at a depth of 10 kilometers so like i said to you based on where you're living in trinidad and tobago you will not feel these quakes because they're not large in terms of magnitude uh, 4.6 uh, magnitude quake and uh, also the other one 4.1 so based on the size the magnitude of these earthquakes you will not feel them only in specific areas the thing about trinidad is that there's the, the island uh, trinidad and tobago the whole area is sitting on about eight fault zones which is very dangerous I was going to discuss that in another video to give you information on that because we're getting some requests for that information. Eight fault zones. So that's a lot of zones and a lot of uh, seismic activity taking place around Trinidad and Tobago. But like we all know, earthquakes, unpredictable. You don't know when they're coming to just bam, they just shake the earth. And unless your foundations are built to withstand the shifting of the earth like they do in Japan and some places in the United States of America, you're not going to escape uh, tragedy that easily. So the best you can do is hope and pray that it doesn't do too much damage or it happens offshore where it wouldn't really spread out on land. All right. We're going to feel that effect on the land. So that's the latest out of Trinidad and Tobago. Like I said, let me know if you felt it. You can leave your comments in the section below there and let me know what's taking place and there is another video which we will bring to you about those eight fall zones that are sitting in and around trinidad and tobago that's some serious information that you need to know and we're going to bring that to you in another video so just gathering that information right now to bring to you okay so that's the latest out there um actually this month september so far the UWI SRC has recorded four earthquakes that have affected Trinidad and Tobago in the month of September alone. And September still has a couple of days to go. So anything is possible, but that's the amount that they have recorded within the month of September so far. All right. So thanks for joining us and thanks for watching. And like I said, you can leave your comments in this section below and let's know what's taking place on your end.